So I hear three breaks there. Yeah. Do you want all three? Um, I would like it like this. Light of my life, my darling, I love you, I love you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, so Could you, you do that in the bass part? No. <laughs> First of all, your director's awesome. Everybody say yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So rather than wait, 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 I just want to dive in because there's so much great stuff happening. So one of the things I said I wanted to do tonight was mostly be a helper. I'm a retired music teacher. I work for the Barbershop Harmony Society. Uh, I work for Harmony Foundation these days, but I've been in his shoes and it's tough. People who direct and say it is tough. Back me up, people who yes, direct yes, yes, yeah, it's yes. tough. So, you have a real gem here. So what I'm going to ask is a couple things tonight. I'm going to ask Alex to try some things. I'm going to ask you to try some things in terms of directing and chorusing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. It's just like, hey, try something a little bit different. 
So for example, one of the things that's really working against us is just the way we're all kind of standard, uh, standing hodgepodge. We're like, we're in a cluster over there, and then we got guys way over here, and we got guys behind stuff, and they can't really see. So without me saying much, would you get in a place where everybody can kind of see the director? Do you feel like you would have better uh, uh, spots to connect with your director? Whatever you think that means. So in general, what we try to do in barbershop, as you know, is if we have these folks here, this is the window where we want one person, one person, one person. So that what that will mean in the second row is you're going to be profoundly further apart. So Butch, for if can we can play a little bit, if you could be here, Wayne, if you could be here, if you could be here, sir, thank you very much. If Rob. you could be here, sir, thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. And then the guys in the back, if you could kind of move up to the holes that are now revealed. That way we can just kind of hear each other. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this may not seem like a big deal, but I gotta tell you, the band and orchestra world, you want the snare drums and the bass drums in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and you want the flutes here, right? It's bad if it gets switched around, right? right? And you want to be able to see the director, all right? So would you look at Alex like he's just kind of a guy talking to you and you're standing around waiting for a bus? Ready, set, go. Excellent! We got that down. Now, can you put your arms to your side and look like we're about to do something important. We're going to sing. So your feet are going to be about three inches further apart. Ready, set, go. Further apart. You would never stand this way normally. And now would you look at Alex like your life depends on it, rather than just like, I'm going to kind of watch. Now, Alex, you're going to minimize your gesture. So instead of saying, hard, I'm going to do less band. I'm going to do more choral. Hard, just a little bit less. Does that make sense? He has a beautiful singing voice. Yeah, no, he's perfect. <laughs> God, do you have a quartet? Uh, not an official one. Dude, get yeah. going. Anyway, yeah. um, so <laughs> let's sing a little bit "Heart of My Heart," where you're looking at Alex like this really matters. So if Alex crescendos, you're going to do it because I saw him do this, and you just kind of sang right through it. Does that make sense? What I'm talking about? He's doing the thing. See if you can kind of go. It means something. What he's doing means something, rather than like screw this kid, man. I'm just going to kind of mail it in. Right? So let's give give that back. So here's that pitch. Heart of my heart is really connected to Alex. spectrum that he's giving you right now is kind of unchanged and the volume is kind of unchanged so it feels a little bit boring so what I want you to do is go I'm gonna do stuff it's gonna like whoa rather than just like it's not gonna be this ready high that's kind of what I'm feeling so can, I, can you have more like oh I got a surprise and it might get loud it might get soft I don't know what you're gonna do I can't wait Lay it on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we talked about this with the quartet. If we're going to do a tune-up, let's do a tune-up, but let's not do a thing that says, hey, audience, what you're about to hear is bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Are we? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to do a hmm, let's do a hmm. Do you want to do a hum? Uh, I would like to do a hum. Great. This time. So let's do a big, fat, beautiful hmm on that tune-up chord. So direct it like you mean it, buddy. and then sometimes going to crescendo this way. What I'd like to play with is a longer phrase. It's kind of a pitch. Here's our hmm.
then that wait time makes them go, I want to sing. Not yet, not yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then like, whoo, I am really connected to you. Mm, heart, uh, you don't mean it. Right? So, so I want you to have a little more dominance, a little more of that Donnie in you. Okay? Lay that on me, Alex. Here's the pitch. <coughs> Does that make sense? How that's that's musical and we haven't sung that? Rather than you, you can't <laughs> does it, does it, it has to be connected, right? It's, uh, so can you try that? And I love your hands, they're beautiful. I'm going to grab your hands and grab your arms, and as you direct this time with your head. <laughs> oh boy. Are you with me? I'm with you. All right, buddy. gestures that are a little bit different and see if you can kind of go I'm watching him so careful I know what he's asking does that make sense Yang, Yang what I'm talking about alright so here's heart of my heart trying to have less hands more body 
By the way, if he's moving his body, what should you do? Everybody say, move our bodies. Move our bodies. Great. So Alex is going to start moving his body, so start giving it back to him. Good luck. That was awesome. Did you see it? Yes. Wait time. Does it make a difference? Say yes or no. Yes. Huge. That's so now, I like to minimize this stuff because they're going, what are the fingers mean? What are the fingers mean? And I don't think you know what the fingers mean. So I would like you to minimize the fingers and just have this all be kind of connected. So it might be, mm, okay, the cut up now be, mm, I hate this, this is technical, and be, mm, Baritones, you're below the lead, so sing louder than the leads. Mm, leads, we got plenty uh -oh. of lead. We need more baritone. Here's that M. Nope. Very beginning. That will do it. Now, this would be worth it right there for that. Yes, program. sir. Would you give it up? For the <laughs> so, I will tell you when a director does this and you do it back, there's that magic that happens on stage or in rehearsals. I don't know if this has happened to you, but a lot of times my most powerful musical moments, even when I'm with college kids, is in the rehearsal room. It's almost never on in a performance. Does that make sense? It's almost never. And so, following and just having him do that, and you kind of going, I'm with you, buddy. That's when the magic happens. And then he'll have another gear that he's never shown you, right? He'll get even better. He'll go back and forth. That's awesome. Can you do another one of your uh, your uh, Valentine's songs? And sure. Kind of push that lever, see what happens. Do a sweet Adeline, but with Valentine instead of Adeline. Sweet mm -hmm. Valentine. Sweet Valentine. So this is different, yeah? Yes. This yeah. is different? So right now, we're a little bit struggling with the notes and words. Would you check with your people and say like, oh, uh, can you huddle up baritones, huddle up leads, huddle up basses, huddle up tenors? About, it seems like we didn't know these notes very well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Say yes. 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 Great, huddle up yes, real quick.
something with the director where instead of directing each syllable, we'll just direct parts of the words. So it looks something like, sweet valentine. Can we try it, Leeds? Sweet valentine. So instead of saying valentine, sweet valentine, val time. So we can direct, ready? Sweet Valentine. And then you'll sing Sweet Valentine. Does that make sense? It won't be Sweet Valentine. Leads are singing there. Baritones are singing there. You're below the leads, so you get to be louder than the leads. Sweet Valentine. Just so we have a nice big fat chord. Can we try that, y'all? Take it away, leads. The pitch is good. The pitch is good. The pitch is good. Take it away. The pitch is good. Thank you. Try again, instead of getting a sweet valentine. Watch it. Sweet valentine. Sweet valentine. My valentine. My valentine. And my dear heart. And my dear heart. For you I find. happening. You guys are locking and ringing chords. Please say yes. 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 That's awesome. You're also having moments when it's like pretty good, but it's not as good. Do you notice those moments where like, this doesn't sound as spectacular as that other spot. Start getting hungry for having those locking and ringing chords, right? It doesn't have to be about winning a contest or beating anybody. It's just about loving barbershop and loving singing well in our community and attracting more people. Would you back me up on that? Oh, yes. It's really fun. So when your director comes in front of you and is struggling and he's learning directing, it's he, he's getting better every second in front of you, but just kind of give him, give him time, give him feedback. So one of the things I'd like you to experiment with is tunes like this to me are like all about I love barbershop. Are you following me? This, this, mm -hmm. this isn't like profound. This is like really cool chords. Right, so can I try that one time and then just let this, I just want to play more of the chords. Leads, sweet valentine, sweet. gonna watch him man I'm just gonna watch him and if you have authority they're gonna go I'm with him does that feel cool to you oh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but see then people go there's something about those chords that is different than other choral music can you back me up on that oh, yeah. so just you have to kind of want it rather than I'm singing through the song I'm singing through the, and you don't look like that but I want it to be more about like these chords are special I'm gonna milk some of them right Play with that. You won't get everything you want, but just play with that a little bit. See what happens. Sweet, sweet Valentine. Sweet Valentine. My Valentine. My Valentine. 
hope everybody could everybody put your hands up like this and go wax off. Good. Did you say wax off? Wax, wax off. off. One more time. Wax, wax off. off. Good. Say wax on. Wax, wax on. on. So we're always going to wax off to have them stop. So we do that lunge, we do a lunge. It's going to be a little circle. Right now you're kind of doing a variety of things, but I want you to actually do a circle. Choir, would you clap when you think it's time to stop? It'll look like this. Does that make sense? So you're going to practice. You're just going to clap when you think it's time to stop. Sweet Adeline, sweet Adeline. My Adeline, my Adeline. At night, dear heart, at night, dear heart. For you I pray. For you I pray. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So we're going to really go whoosh, circle, circle. And they know it's time to stop because where you start is where it's going to stop. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And you experiment because that's the cutoffs are like the last big piece that we're not quite ready. Hardly else is spectacular. So play with those cutoffs, Alex. <clears throat> leads. Oh, what's the note leads we keep missing? What's the melody note we keep missing my leads? Valentine. Yeah, my Valentine leads. My, my Valentine. Valentine. So time's the note, it's a half step below. My Valentine again. My Valentine. So that's a hard note. Can you sing time in time, time in time? time Adult learning. Time. You're going to break it down. Time in time in time. Do something with your hand. Time in time in time. My Valentine. My Valentine. Good. Got to sing it. You got it. My Valentine. Good choice. My valid, my valentine, my valentine. Good, so if you learn something wrong, it's hard to undo. Say yes? Yes. So here's what happens in your brain. Those synapse gaps get firing, and when we work with young people, I say to the high school and college kids, hey guys, wrong notes, and they go, okay, Mr. Rose, and it's fixed. <laughs> you mean we don't do that much? No. Oh. <laughs> no. These okay, little stinkers right here remember everything yeah, yeah. because their brains are stinking sponges. Yeah. And they should be learning foreign languages and calculus and all kinds of cool stuff because their brains just go, whatever, no problem. But then it starts to close. Yeah. So with adults... Violin sheathing. Yeah. Doesn't form with the old... Yes. Thing. Yes. So in order for us to do this, with, what do we need? We need oh, repetition. We need to break it down. And we just can't say, hey, guys, you're saying I wrote not. We have to like find ways over and over to connect them to the one spot. Um, sweet Adeline, my Adeline, and I dear heart, for you I pine. That's pine. That's the bad one. For you I pine. Am I remembering that right? Yeah. There was one that keeps falling yeah. apart. For you I pine. Yeah, everything else is pretty good. Now, leads, remember when you go, sweet Adeline, you need to be a strong bar of vowel truth. It's kind of sweet Adeline, sweet Adeline. Turn to your neighbor and say, dang it, I did that. Or no, he's talking to you. Yeah. All right? Baritone, sweet Adeline. <laughs> On the cut. Right, let's crush that. Ready, no pitch leads. Sweet Adeline. Do I follow this or do I follow this? 
And sometimes actually you move your body too. So they go body, hand, which, what do I follow? They don't know this, it's in their lizard brain. So we just have to be like, it's so clear. The reason why they're stopping without any problem with me is like, I'm just a jerk and I demand it. And I don't give them anything else to look at. So see if you can go on a cutoff. My Adeline, my Adeline. Just super clear, just super, super clear. And less uh, appendages <coughs> moving. Does that, does that make sense what I'm talking about? We just wanna make it so that your guys who are trying to do it with you can just, can really pick it up and know exactly what to do. Last but not least, uh, who has, who are my dog owners? Great, dog owners, great. So the worst thing to do when you walk up to a dog when you're just meeting them is like, oh, hi dog. <laughs> <laughs> you just say, hey dog, you're the alpha. Just please don't hurt me. And the worst thing you can do with a choir is go. <laughs> so what I need you to do is go, I'm not a dog, and I'm not barking at them, but I'm clearly in control. My countenance is high, I'm smiling, and I never have that moment where I go, now what do I do now? With my face, does that make sense what I'm talking about, y'all? Yes, yes that, sir. That kind of thinking face, I need to be, I love these guys. So lead in. Sweet and alive. Sweet and authority, and I love these guys, and they're my people, and we're gonna sing, rather than a little bit of fear. So let's hear, let's shake off that fear, and get a little bit more of that. Are we still doing Valentine? Valentine. Yeah. Valentine. Oh, forgive me. <laughs> Sweet Valentine. Yeah. Sorry. It wasn't you. You didn't start. Yeah, it probably was me. Went sideways. <laughs> Valentine. Sweet Valentine. with your director and say something like a couple, like three, four, five of you, does that make a difference? Yes, that makes yes. a big difference. So, so yeah. guys, so I see Dwayne, you nodding. What, what, what happens for you when he directs like that? Oh, I know exactly what to do. Excellent. And obviously, David, you were kind of into that too. Yeah, it was just you were right there. You, you were laser focused. You, that was awesome. Awesome. Folks over here, anybody else? Yeah, Scott, you were going to say? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I've got that beard. That, uh, Precisely, I love when you're on your toes, forward, and engaged, like when we're taking the note and not backing off, mm -hmm. and then coming in. When we stay engaged after taking the note and yeah. stay engaged, we're still engaged with you. Does that make sense? It seems like a subtle thing, but that's a very perceptive deal. Yeah. Because then the guys go, oh, wait, oh, oh, they're lizard brain, they don't know what to do. That's awesome, David. That's awesome. Thank you. That's really, really good. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Whole thing and I'll shut up. Sure. Have a seat, y'all. Well, for starters, hello. Hello, Donnie. Hello, hello. Um, I recognize many of your faces, and some of your faces are perhaps newer to barbershop. Uh, I am a retired high school music teacher and college teacher, and I worked for the Barbershop Harmony Society for a spell, and I worked 
for a, a fundraising group right now, but it's great to be here. Um, what uh, I learned from David, from some of the gang, is we feel like we're doing some good stuff here in Tualatin Valley. Say yes. 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 We feel like our sectionals might be better. Say yes. 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 Awesome. So what are some things that you want to happen in your sectionals? Can I clarify? We haven't done sectionals in like three years that I've been here. Oh, awesome. Okay. That's great. So this will be good. So, yeah, so they can do that. People who have ever been in a uh, sectional, whether it be a high school or junior high, uh, tell me what, sh what, a, what, is it? What, what is a sectional in its most basic form? Where a section gets together to rehearse their individual part. Why, why do we do that? And not, not being sarcastic, why do we do that? Uh, so we can have our part learned to combine it later with the rest of the course. Excellent. What else might happen besides uh, learning the, combining and learning the part? What else might happen? Peer training. Awesome. Peer -peer. Yeah, so you can kind of find each other. Sure. Train it up a little bit. Sure. That I think it's matching. good for camaraderie, too. Val matching, 100% camaraderie. Yeah. Because believe it or not, some of us associate strongly with, like, I'm a baritone and these are my baritone brothers. That kind of a feeling. Are, are, and seriously, mm -hmm. you're oh, with me, you're right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, bass brothers are like, this is not a joke. This is a big deal. So, when you're in a sectional, we do a couple of things. Number one, we're trying to have a real goal. So, the reason why we, we go apart, kind of like we did a minute ago, we say, hey, just have a look, sweet Adeline. Uh, the leads fixed a bunch of stuff, I heard the baritones fixed stuff. I heard bases fixed up. You just kind of had a minute to, to clean up stuff. It wasn't like, hey, be gone for two hours. It was like, hey, be gone for two minutes and just kind of pick a couple things. So in order for a section to work, number one, you need a leader. Number two, you need to have kind of a quick, basic agenda of like, what are we doing? The worst thing you could do is like, well, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> then you know it's going to be a horrible, useless section. So what, what do you do in a section? You have an objective, which is like, we struggle with this key change. Or we have a hard time on this little spot. Page two in the bottom, we always kind of mess up. Does that make sense what I'm talking about? So leads would say, we shouldn't rehearse. Sweet out of line, because it's money. But there's a couple spots where like, oh, we struggle with these weird little spots right here. And so a section leader circles those spots and says, it's measure four and five, 21 and 22. So we just have these little quick agendas. It's not, okay, we have the vowel match. Okay, we have to turn diphthongs. No, 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 no. We're just going to pick a couple little things to work on. And then your section leader and probably an assistant kind of helps to make sure everything kind of keeps on track. You're probably, at the beginning, if it's your culture, sitting, but you're in a real circle. You're not in a circle where there's like four guys and then there's two guys standing over there kind of chewing the ball. Like you make sure that everybody's together. Say, of course. Of course. All right. And after you're together and the section leader leads you, you have to have a deal where you say, I'm going to shut up so the section leader can actually lead. The worst thing is the person helping who's maybe wrong. Are you following what I'm talking about? We have to have, now, believe it or not, sometimes the section should be led by a 14-year-old or an 80-year-old. It doesn't really matter. It's just the person who knows and can help each other with the stuff. Sometimes it's like, David's like, don't call on me, but I can sing it. I can sing the part, but don't ask me to lead. Other people are like, oh, I'm happy to lead, but I don't want to sing by myself because I'm scared. So you have that negotiation in a section. Are you following what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So you work on a section. Now, here's the most critical thing. When I was watching you do polecat stuff, and it said the way you qualified is you stood in front of me and you sang. And the way we qualified at Bellevue is the section leader stood in front with a pen and marked every wrong note you sang. He said, that was awesome, Cody. You only missed 12. Figure those out. Now there, it wasn't like we were trying to be jerks. There it was like, we love you enough to ask you to sing the right notes. Are you following what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. It's not about anger. It's not about dominance. It's not, a, it's, we were all vulnerable. And as a director, I'd get videotaped. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, I look horrible. What am I doing? And I, and I learned. And that's how we grow. So the idea of a sectional is to really get specific about what are we trying to fix? It may be notes. It might be like, hey, we're, we're out of tune with each other. It might be, hey, Donnie, you you got to sing a little quieter, dude, because I think you're kind of overpowering the section. Does that make sense? You kind of have those conversations, and it's loving, but it's clear. So a leader, and then you have to figure out how it's going to work. Is the leader the person that leads the rehearsal, or is the leader the person that does the vocal modeling? 
and you have to figure out with a section leader like what is you're doing, and then you come back together. My strong suggestion is to not just do a sectional, but to actually have some sort of duetting time. So for, for example, if it's Sweet Adeline, you'd probably go leads, baritones, tenors, basses. And then you kind of switch those. And I'm talking about like for 120 seconds. Like you're just gonna do these three measures like four times and like you kind of figure it out, switch! And then the other, then we have a chance to duet and the leads here like, oh, that's what we sound like against the tenors. I didn't know that they were singing those notes. That's cool. And then when you put the four parts together, it's magical. Are you following what I'm talking about? It's really, really cool. So I would suggest sectionals first to secure your notes and just kind of make sure you're singing the right notes. Number two, you might notice that some of us are like doing cheat breaths or stuff like that. Let's just kind of figure out like where do we actually breathe? How do we how do we sing this? And then when you come back together, you hopefully you're so secure you can sing your part. Because I know what it's like to like, I know my part, I know my part, it's four parts I've lost. Right? Have you had that happen to you? Yeah. I know my part. I know my part. Oh, I, love, I'm love, I get it. You'll get better at that. Don't worry about it. You'll get better. But for in a sectional, I would suggest to have also what we called it in my high school, the cop. Or the enforcer is what my choir kids like to call it. And the enforcer is, hey, Alex, quit uh, texting. Hey, uh, hey Nat, a uh, quick uh, uh, snap and Cody in the balls, you know, whatever. And, and, and so those choir, the choir enforcer would, would kind of make sure that we're on task. Don't do that. I'm talking about what we did with different groups, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of figure out what you need for uh, your chapter to, to get done. So it might be uh, something to lead in the rehearsal. You obviously need a timekeeper, which is halfway through. One minute, time to go. And, and that person is dispassionate and a police officer of like, and we're done. Otherwise, you'll be there for half an hour, right? And if you didn't get done what you need to get done, you didn't get it done, all right? So does that make sense, what we're talking about in its most basic form? <coughs> People who've done sectionals in the past, who remembers doing these either in barbershop or in school? Great. People who've done it, helpful, not helpful, good time, bad time? Very helpful. Helpful. Yeah. Helpful. Yeah. If it's a bad sectional, it's a complete waste, like all things. But if it's a good sectional, it's probably the best part of the rehearsal, all right? Because then you get to get with your brothers and figure out like, what? oh, that's, I'm singing that note wrong. Um, I love to use recordings. I was working with Penny Arcade before the rehearsal, and I just would like do little recordings in like 30 seconds so they could hear what they sound like. And a lot of times they're like, oh, I, well, that does sound better. Or like, oh, I didn't know I sounded like that. It's just a little quick reminder, and you can do that with your sectionals too, because you may not know that when you all sing together, maybe somebody's singing a little bit late. So using technology like a phone and then deleting it after like I did with their recordings, right? It's just simple. Yeah? We call it vamping it because you work the life out of it. <laughs> yeah. But when you loop, which is giving adults multiple opportunities, you can do it too often that people, it, it's just painful. But we do want to give people enough opportunity. So for example, uh, uh, right now, in all my dreams, in all my, your fair face beam, your fair face beam, this is the worst part of the song, and then we're good, and then we're good. So I would spend, you're the flower of my heart, and then have everybody figure out their notes, because I'm quite sure that what I hear from the bass, baritone, and tenor, there's a little confusion on just that little spot, not the whole song. Just that little spot. So that'd be an example of what to do. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So could we have the leads do a fake sectional in front of us right now on Sweet Adeline? And we're going to take two minutes, and they're going to stand in a circle and sing in front of you, and, and we're going to have somebody lead the leads. And every once in a while, I'll stop and interject. Does that make sense? We're doing. I want you to see what a sectional yeah, could look like. That's a great idea. On your mark, hit set, leads up front, go. <laughs> so who's going to be your leader? Come on, somebody stand up. And I will. And do it. Great. Or I'll do you. Great. So Dwayne, Dwayne's going to lead. So Dwayne is going to be loving, but he's going to be quick, right? So. My suggestion as the director is, uh, hey, Dwayne, let's figure out you're the power of my heart. I mean, that's really the only thing. So you might model it once and then have them sing it back and see how it sounds. So let's try that right there. Go. So 
Either say good job or no, we messed good it up. Good job, you guys were great. Great. So now we're going to put it in context. In all my dreams, your fair face beams. You're the. Does that make sense? Yep. In, in all my dreams, your fair face beams. Oh, tragic. So what do I hope he does? What do I hope happens? Stop when they notice so, something. So you're going to let them finish, but you're going to say, we don't agree on what word? Your, your face. Your face. So they don't agree on the no face. on face. In all my dreams, your fair, we don't agree, beams. <laughs> so does somebody have an opinion that you think you're singing for <coughs> swing? I think I'm singing. Can you sing it for a swing? In my dreams, your, your fair face. Good. I, the one I know is it has to have higher. Your fair face beams. It's pr I could be remembering wrong. I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't think you are either. Your fair face beams. I'm pretty sure that's right. Can we try the leads? Your, your fair face beams. Okay. So now I'm going to break it down. Yes, I'm correct. Your fair, I'd sing, I'd fair face beams, fair face beams, go. Fair face beams, fair face beams. So we've got a lot of scoop and a lot of scoop and I want to see if we go right to the note. Ready? In, in all my dreams. Now we're going super slow. Your fair face beams. Is that better? Yeah. In, in all my dreams. Your fair face beams. So I'm using a little bit lighter. Your fair face Carry, carry, carry your part. Keep a melody ringing and ringing. It's a really hard bass part, and nobody sings it right. And the 
minute they send it right, they go, holy crap, this is really cool. <laughs> and I go, I know. <laughs> so learning the right notes matters. Turn your name to that wisdom that that man gave you. <laughs> I just want to say, young man, you're not my 60s. OK. <laughs> Sweet Adeline, my Adeline. So there's a couple of us who really struggle with all these sharps. So just recognize that that might be one that we kind of have to revisit a little bit. Ready and sweet. I'm Adeline. sorry, sweet Valentine. <clears throat> sweet Valentine, my Valentine. Yeah. Yeah. My Valentine. We're gonna have to sing a lot higher. At least you, you got it. Just on Valentine's ready, sweet Valentine. My Valentine. My Valentine. So, so you got closer, yes. right? So this is a sectional. Now, is it perfect? No. Is it better? Yes. Now, believe it or not, if they do that and the basses do their stuff and the baritones do their stuff and the tenor <laughs> does that, um, it gets it gets a lot better. Can you try that for five minutes on your Thought of My Heart, Sweet Adeline, Sweet My Valentine's? Does that make sense we're going to do? Is Are you Mark? Can I? Yeah. A question? Yeah. Is it your or your? <coughs> um, I, I, I don't like to do a pirate your. I like to do your. It rhymes with the lure, your. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you guys decide, right? But I, I, there's something more. You were the your, the. I think your sounds more like. More barbershop. Yeah, yeah, more choral for sure, right? You're the, right? Ethel Merman, right on. So, <laughs> can we do uh, five minutes in sectionals? I'm gonna have a section with a tenor on your mark. Uh, so leads stay here, basses, baritones, tenors, I don't know where you're gonna we go. We have no place to go is the biggest problem. Oh, they don't let if us? We, if we did this, then you'd have one here and one here. That's pretty much where we're at. So we can't use spaces out here? Right, no, no mm. not really. That's, that's the biggest, and now in summertime when it's nice, sure. We can go outside, right? Okay. All right. Well, that, that's a sectional. Yeah. Um, th this is something we got to figure out, gang, because without sectionals, we're really going to stay stagnant. Um, who are the people like me that notice wrong notes? Yeah. It's, 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 it's something that will start to drive away your better singing. And the people who don't hear it don't care, so they won't, it doesn't bother them at all. But the people who do hear it will begin to get sadder and sadder and sadder. And over time, they'll go, I just can't take this. So this isn't a threat. It's just talking about, like, let's make it fun for everybody and sing the right notes is fun for everybody, right? Yeah. Thank you. We'll give it up for the leads. Would you please? <laughs> could you do this away from a rehearsal night? Say yes. 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 yes, you could totally do this. You could say, hey, lead section of my house, I'll have the pop and beer, man. Let's hang out for 30 minutes and get together a little, a little bit. Right on. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now I'd like to invite up Scott to do a Hello, Mary Lou. So do you Our want me to conduct through it, or are we going to work it? My section just grew, Johnny. I have a feeling we're going to work it. All right, let's work it. Now it's going to come sing with me. And my section just grew. Okay, as I recall, this starts with passing by. 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 Passing Start at the end. Leads. I can't remember where this is. See, I get up in front of you guys and I get all nervous again. Uh, thank you. So, leads in the tag at the, the end, there's this on. Measure 70, there's this little dashed line that says you guys don't have the melody anymore. So that really high part, right from the start, I said hello Mary Lou to my heart. You don't have the melody, you don't have the sing line. It, so whatever you do, don't try to force it and say, yes Mary Lou, I love you. Don't make it sound all strained and stressed. Just try to hit those notes. If you have to go falsetto, go falsetto. Just sing them as light and as well as you can. Uh, that's first thing. Let's work on that. Let's start at the tag. 
and this is in B flat. Remind me how it started. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. easier to start, well, yeah, let's start at the tag. Uh, B flat, and it's the, is this the same as the beginning? Yes. Okay, it starts, same notes as when we start at the very beginning. Except the, yeah. Hello, Mary Lou, I'm in love with you, yes, hello, Mary Lou, goodbye. That's the part we're doing. So, let's take a pitch, B flat. So I would suggest having yeah. the basses go, and you'll have to model it. Goodbye, heart, right from the start. Does that make sense? Uh, starting here. Goodbye, heart, right there. Oh, I was, I was going a little bit. I was doing the stuff you're talking about here. At the end. Do I lead into it a little bit? I thought it might be easier. That's a hard spot because that's yeah. not tonic. So I'd go back further if you feel like they can't do it there. Um, I knew Mary Lou. We'd never part. So if you're looking at bar 57. I knew Lou, Mary knew Mary Lou, knew Mary Lou. I knew Mary Lou. I knew Mary Lou that we never part. So hello, Mary Lou, goodbye, heart, goodbye, heart. Hello, Mary Lou, I'm in love with you. Yes, hello. Uh, sing through this section tonight at least okay. as quietly as you can comfortably. So a nice comfortable singing voice but as softly as you can. I don't want the leads to have to stress trying to sing loudly. So let them carry the melody. You guys, all the doo offers you sound so lovely. Nice and quiet. So let's see if we can start right at verse 2. Saw your lips, I heard your voice. Uh, saw your lips, I heard your voice. Uh, can you pick up right there? Quick step. Yes. So Scott, if you're gonna help them, are they gonna come in? Are you guys gonna come in well right now? Everybody say no. no. Oh, right. I can feel that. Yeah, so adults need the pitch. Okay. So, so you could literally do uh, leads, saw, basses, do. Baritone, do, tenor, do, can you hear that chord? Do, saw your lips, ready? Saw your Something lips. Something like that. Just kind of like have them actually audiate on the pitch yeah. so that they can have a chance. Otherwise, it's some singing. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah all right. Well, if you're going to be in front, you're going to need to do that, right? You got to set them up. Do. Anytime you're singing the contra stuff when other people aren't singing, sing as loud as you want. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, quick time out. Yes. Awesome yes. teaching, awesome stuff. Why will this not work with these people? Everything you did was perfect. Why will this not ever work with these people? 
because you're giving great verbal instruction from the basics that wholly forgot what you've said. <laughs> model it. Yeah, 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 you have to model it. If you care enough to talk about All it, right. you have to model it. So you need to say something like, um, uh, so what is the thing that you want? Like, like right in. in. That's goodbye. There we go. There we go. Yeah, hello, Mary Lou. Like, now, baby. Now, baby. So it might be. Uh, more now, baby. More now, baby. Faces. More now, baby. Ready again. More now, baby. See, they're a little bit so freaked out, so now it's going to yeah. take more time. Ready? More. More now, baby. Can you have more fun on now, baby? Ready? More. Go. Uh, move, yes. your body. move your body when you say now, baby. So be more now, baby. Ready, go. More now, baby. Yeah, you gotta do something in the movie. So right. rather than just saying, hey, bring out that contrabando part, they're going, I don't know what you're talking about. Or they do know, but they don't. They can't feel the difference. Right. The yeah, next yeah. one is, um, uh, hello, Mary Lou. Goodbye, heart. So whenever you have those pickups like goodbye, heart, faces, we need you to bring those up because they don't have them. So. Leads, can I hear the top three? Low Mary Lou, can you sing? Uh, low Mary, can you sing? Hello Mary Lou, so hello Mary Lou, hello Mary Lou. If you're looking at a measure, it's 17, hello. No bass, one, two, no bass, go. Hello Mary Lou, good boy heart, sweet Mary Lou, I'm so in love with you. you have y'all that's when the basses have something different basses can you join us and notice when they go hello mary lou goodbye heart that's when we want you to come up is that is that's what you want right yep yep right so now we're going to practice that little spot even though the baritones and the tenors are singing the wrong notes we're going to let it go because right. it doesn't matter right. we're practicing on the bass part we're going to let them sing wrong notes all night long in this little spot because they're just lost but if we start at the beginning, they'll get it. Right. But don't be a jerk about it. Just let them do that. <laughs> right? We're just going to let them sing wrong notes. Let me know. Hello, baritone. Hello. 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 With bass. Hello. Two, four parts. Go. Hello, Mary. Bass. Goodbye, heart. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? And then you give them praise right away so they don't forget. Yes, bass is what you just did right there. Strong staff. Strong staff. Make sense? Yes. All right. What do you say? <laughs> in the beginning. That's what I need to do. If you're going to be in front, you got to do the step. Yes. Right? Yeah. Lay it on. All right. Let's have some fun. <laughs> we on the right pitch? <laughs> Anywhere close? Where, where are we? Right yeah. at the beginning, right? From the beginning. Let's go all the way through. Start the 
Yeah, yeah don't Crescendo never pretend to run soon. away. You gotta save it. Alright. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants soft pretty? Who wants uh, uh, louder power? I know the kids do. Great. Well, let's do let's do the one that's both <laughs> then, since we're kind of split. Uh, repeat after me. The words are: We'll build a rainbow in the sky. We'll build a rainbow in the sky. So it leads. It starts soft and then gets big at the end. Uh, can we post like an F leads? Is that okay? Yeah. Sky. Okay. Uh, leads. We'll build a We'll build a rainbow in the 
sky, baritone, old thing. We'll build a rainbow in the yeah. sky. Okay. You can hear it with leads. We'll lead there. We'll build a rainbow. Get the leads in the other side. steps forward and turn around. Ready? Um, base.
spending time getting it awesome? Yes. yes. Yeah. I think it is. Now, um, you can drill it to death. And so we're talking about there's a balance, right? But as long as you're making progress, getting it better and better and better is kind of cool, which is why tag singing is great, because you can craft something short and make it really, really beautiful. Are you all with me? Yeah. Now, is it possible to notice that when I was directing, some of you were kind of ignoring me at times, so the timing didn't really happen? So can you just kind of go, I'm just going to follow Donnie and just kind of <laughs> submit. Are you following what I'm talking about? Ready? Lead, lead, lead. Float out.
think the last one on our list that we have is Daydream. So let's run through Daydream. You know that song. Now, while you're, um, if you ever do a parody song that we know is, you know, man, and like I know the Suntones version, but if you do a parody song, what do you suppose is critical, critical, critical about a parody song? Words. The words. Mm -hmm. We have to like understand the words to a degree that is insane. And right now, you're singing it like we probably know the words. So, so when we kind of get that, it's really important that we, if you're going to do this in front of people, which I think you should, uh, we just have to like button down those words. Would you turn to your neighbor and say, I'm offended, or he's talking about me? Begin speaking now. So we can hear that something sure. happened, right? Musical style. So what I'm talking about yeah. is shape and character. So it might be like, I'm a jaunty, portly man. Like, I'm a, I'm a sexy jazz cat dude. I'm, I'm kind of dancing with the guys rather than, I don't really like what I'm hearing, right? So show like, I love what you're doing, and I want you to give me back that energy. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. So if he does this, I want you to hunch with him. So let's all hunch together. Let's do this. What about this? 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 So if he moves, you have to go slow enough so they go, he's moving. But you just can't go, and they go, oh, crap, I missed it. So it has to be kind of something that takes time. And I just want you to give it back to him. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm all at one time, then you get to do it. Beginning, one, two, three. Will you keep this? Probably not. Will you keep some of it? Maybe. Right? Does that make sense what I'm talking about? Yeah. Now when the audience sees this, they're going to go, hey, this is fun. They're doing stuff. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Seriously. Now you can stand there and sing this 20 times better and we could be bored or you can have a little more fun with, well, the day for a, that's a blue no daydream. 
It should be one a day for a day, three. It should be. It's 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 a, it's a surprise <coughs> note. Does that make sense? So be a cool guy that goes one a day for a daydream. It's a what a day for a daydream, <laughs> right? So show the character that your director is giving it. Say yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Be great. You're up. Great. Mm -hmm. inside them. He's got to unleash yeah. the animal. Now, here's the trick. You can kill him by going, um, excuse me, are you going to always do a walk on measure uh, 13? Because last week you did a walk on measure 14, and it really bothers me. So I, you, you know the guy I'm talking oh, about? I know the guy. I know that guy. I had a guy in my chorus that... <laughs> oh, you actually have it. Okay. <laughs> but I'm mentioning that because sometimes there's residue in other people that you 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 kill a spirit of a of a kid that's just trying to be expressive. You follow what I'm talking about? Yeah, so yeah. just go like, yeah, keep trying, and some will work and some won't. But you have to let him play. You have to go. Well, let's do a little walk with our director rather than uh, I don't really like that little walk, so I'm just going to kind of opt out. You follow what I'm talking about? Yeah, totally. Be vulnerable with your director. Dude, you are awesome. Yes. Yeah. So before I go, I know your time is up. Uh, many, many barbershop courses have the culture when the night ends, they go to like a pub or something like that. And I realize that that's not something we always do. I would like to encourage you. Uh, it doesn't have to be a pub. It could be a McDonald's or whatever, but, but we could go a place where we kind of hang out. Because uh, it's one of my favorite parts of these trips is to have a chance to talk with you one-on-one. -on -one. I honor that you may not be able to do that. You have to take people home. I get that. But if you're able to join, is there a place that we might be able to meet that I can cajole some of you to hang out with me and just chat tonight? Or is this too difficult and we just don't do that here? <laughs> I gotta be, I I gotta be working at 5 in the morning, guys. Got right so you gotta find, I got no, Do some, some of you guys want to hang out for a little bit? Can you? Yeah. Got a few guys. Yeah. Where would you like to do that? I don't know for sure. If the kids are going, so go to McDonald's. Yeah, go to McDonald's if they're going. Otherwise, I'd suggest okay, the 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 father's <laughs> beach the baby. I don't know if they're going to go to the show. Yeah. Okay. Godfather's. Godfather's. Great. Godfather's. I don't want to. I don't want to press you. It's just kind of a fun thing to do. Barbershoppers back me up. Now you got to go to work at five. I get it. But for everybody else who might be able to join us, it'd just be fun if we'd sing a tag. And I, I just kind of want to get to know you. Because when you're a big group, I don't really have that opportunity. And if not, I, we'll, we'll do it again on another time. But thank you again for letting me hang out. And really, make sure you honor that what Alex is, is he's going to be special in this area, right? Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Oh, he's yeah. going to be special. Yeah, he's ours. Yeah. <laughs> so Godfather's not the one behind that. Not yeah. the one behind Sacred, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, that, that one? Okay. Yeah. okay. Cool. All right. Uh, so, uh, and since we're done, yeah. 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 what are we finishing with? Uh, Irish Blessing. Do you know Irish Blessing? I do. Would you like to write Sure. Which one do you do? Mel Knight? Yes. Mel Knight. Oh, your eyes up to me. Yeah. Tell you what, can we sing in a circle? Yeah. Yes. 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 Can I be in the middle of it? <laughs> no. <laughs> right on, right? Circle. I don't know. John, you did. Oh, well, you can't get that. Yeah, you can get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Ron. Awesome. Did you lose her? We better sing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble now. Uh, what do you do? Uh, F, G? 
Uh, e flat? No, e flat. yeah, E flat. E flat. Okay, E flat. What are we saying?